Hello and welcome to one more informative video from InfoButter. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about how we can convert a JPG file uh, to a PDF document or multiple JPG files to a PDF document uh, or a file using Photoshop. Uh, if you are using Photoshop, you must be aware of the basic things. Uh, so we'll not talk about that. So first of all, you have to open uh, the Photoshop software itself and then we'll start with the some images, I already have some images stored uh, so that we don't have to search on the real time basis. Uh, these all images are obviously from Google uh, and may be licensed so you uh, may not be able to use the exact images. However, you may have some documents uh, that uh, you would like to add and share. Normally this happens uh, when uh, we are sending some documents, some education documents for example in a PDF format or something for applying uh, a job or maybe for some other reason you can have and your own reasons uh, however uh, let's uh, get started with the uh, conversion so uh, first of all uh, you go to this file menu as you can see here and uh, just uh, go to automate uh, it is in the same menu and under automate you will find something called pdf presentation you see right here click on that and in that, uh, you first thing you have to do is you have to upload the images that uh, we just saw. So click on the browse link and you have these images. Uh, the folder is on uh, desktop. So find the location and all the full images you can uh, open. It will take some time, but it will, uh, uh, they will reflect here, right here and uh, okay it is uh, showing now uh, in case you uh, would like to have a document on top or uh, you want to arrange or reorder them you can simply click and drag and keep it on top for example or you can reorder as per your requirement or you can uh, name the document accordingly so that you remember uh, which document comes at the top and which comes at the bottom uh, the next step is to uh, make sure that this multi-page document is selected because uh, this is uh, this is like because we are adding more files in one document so this is a multi-page document uh, now the next thing is to uh, click the background type which is uh, by default i've selected gray you can keep it white font size uh, since the, we are uh, adding these images so there's no font size will apply and uh, click on save button once you click on save button, this does not mean it will convert the document right away. Uh, there is uh, one more step. So I'll go to the desktop and the folder where I was saving the file. I have to find the document. Okay, click on the desktop. And I have PD, JPG to PDF. Okay, I've got the folder. As you can see, there is no uh, PDF document as such we'll be writing the name of the document and then saving it so let's save as my document jpg to pdf and hit save as soon as you click on this save button one more window will appear which will ask you about the kind of quality you are looking for in the document or uh, there are some other settings too. Uh, it is appeared. So the first drop down which talks about press quality. It is the ba it is basically the size of the document, the quality that you're looking for. This press quality would be a better quality, or the smaller, uh, the smallest file size uh, would be if uh, would be a little lower because uh, there are documents which you would like to share over WhatsApp. So if you use this uh, press quality, it will be like 50, 60 MB document, which normally used to print, uh, which is not required for sharing uh, uh, over WhatsApp or via email. Some, some emails also have limitation like 25 MB or something that you cannot see. You can send maximum size. So uh, for that, I will keep this uh, document as small. And compression, compression is how, uh, what kind of quality you are looking for. Uh, in, th in this particular document so what you'll do is you can simply where were we select a quality uh, I'll select maximum or you can select high or whatever you want this will also change as soon as you change the quality so maximum save PDF it may take some time it will flash on all the images that we were uh, 
uh, adding to the document and one once we are done it will be available so let's go there we have my document this is what we created let's open it the legal image should be on top it is so the titles are here and you see this there are total four images how many images were added total four images one two three four so uh, we're done for this video uh, in case you would like to learn more uh, just click on the subscribe button because uh, i keep on coming up with the uh, Mm, these kind of videos photoshop tutorials and some something related to website development basically so uh, click on the subscribe button and stay tuned thank you very much for watching this video